What is up guys, this is Nisho here, and today I just got a video for all just uh, begging the question, um, is Maxi worth running at one? And uh, <laughs> uh, we can probably say with a definite, I mean, I can probably say, uh, I definitely think so. Um, although it is uh, one of those cards that, you know, ha has always been something that's run in multiple copies, like usually people would max out on Maxi, no pun intended. Uh, they would usually play three copies when it was at three, or two copies when it was at two. And when it was at three, it would usually be like side decked um, sometimes, you know, just to uh, to make sure that your main deck space wasn't really hindered. Uh, when it was at two, more people saw more confidence in main decking it rather than side decking because it was like it's it was more of a main or nothing type of thing, especially for a deck like for certain decks like Mermails. Uh, which kind of needed Maxi in some situations. Um, and with the Zoo format, um, Maxi is actually pretty damn good because of how much Zoo can go off. Um, now, uh, you could argue that using Zoo, uh, not Zoo, using Maxi at the wrong time <laughs> against Zoo could be more of a hindrance than helpful, but you know, you're still drawing a lot of cards if you use it on their first turn. Especially if they open rat or barrage and all this crazy stuff happens, you know, you're, you're just going to be getting so much advantage that eventually they're going to start being uh, like the zoo player is going to start to wonder like, should I stop or should I keep going? But yeah, so the reason why I say it's worth running because usually when broken cards get put down to one, they're usually still worth running. Uh, let me give you some examples. Uh, Upstart Goblin. Now this. People were kind of shaky about Upstart Goblin. It was at three. It was like, oh, 37 card deck meme, Patrick Hoban meme. Um, and, you know, it wasn't really something that people thought was going to get hit. It, it was like one of the last things people thought was going to get hit because A, it's generic. B, um, it's not it, like it's not even a plus one. You know, it's like it, it just replaces itself. So in any deck over 40, it would kind of be uh, redundant to play it. Because it's not really, you're not really getting anything out of it. I mean, you are, you do technically have a shorter deck and you are giving your opponent life points. But um, it's, it, it's, it's more of just like real situational, um, how good it was, you know. But, you know, putting it down to one, a lot of people still played it in certain decks because it, it was just still made your deck lower than 40. And certain decks want to be as consistent as possible. So playing um, Upstart in four, whether it's at one or three, was still pretty useful. Um, I could say the same thing about Solemn Warning. Uh, when Warning first came out, like Judgment was still around. And it was like one Judgment, two Warning. And then Judgment got banned. So it was like, okay, we have Triple Warning now. And then Warning got... Uh, hit to one and then it was like people were still running warning uh before strike came out and even after strike came out um i still think <coughs> uh warning was used uh quite a bit um because a it's way more budget but b it's just as useful if not more useful in certain situations than solemn strike and uh it's still worth it's still worth playing uh, even with one copy because just of how much of a edge it can get you now with max with maxi being put down to one i understand why it, it is a, a good card um it's kind of like when they uh put like i kind of I, I like to think about it like uh when they put the exodia pieces to one um when they were at three uh you could technically clog with your exodia pieces and it's like, if you draw two of the same piece, then it's like, oh my god, why am I playing this? But uh, when all the pieces are limited, you get to focus your entire deck around, you know, just drawing and all this and that. And then um, you don't have to worry about, you know, getting multiple pieces of Exodia or multiple of the same pieces. Because, you know, everything's at one. All five pieces are at one. So once you get one, you know, you're not going to get another one. Uh, like another of the same one. 
Uh, with Maxi, you know, uh, the the way I like to say it is at least he can't Maxi into Maxi now. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's still something that I feel you can main deck now because now it doesn't take up as much main deck space. You don't have to worry about it taking up like three slots in your main deck. And you technically have more space in your main inside. And uh, most meta decks are pretty consistent anyway, so it's like we usually they usually have like a good number of searchers, and s some have more draw power than others. Some don't really have that much draw power, but um, usually they're usually self sufficient. And maxi is more of something that just helps keep uh, like uh, balance uh, the. Uh, the board when your opponent starts to go off and you're like okay i have this maxi i'm not worried all right now you can still lose but maxi still like gives you like uh like keeps the game balanced um even at one i i do still believe you may not see it as often which is the problem with putting it at one but at least you don't have to worry about uh it clogging now because you won't be going maxi into maxi or when it was after you like getting two maxis in your hand off of one maxi, it, it was it was terrible to draw a maxi off a of maxi. I'm telling you, <laughs> but yeah, it's like there's a lot of broken cards that still are played at one, uh, simply because of how good they are. Like with Imperial Order, we're getting Imperial Order back, and that that thing's only gonna be at one. Uh, like every Paleozoic deck is gonna play like uh, Imperial Order in the main. I guarantee you, like every good Paleozoic deck is gonna run Imperial Order in the main, if not side. If not citing at least one or like two to three anti spells as well, um, because they just want to see that spell stopping as soon as possible. And uh, like e even if it's not you know at two or three, and even if it has like a high maintenance cost of uh, with Imperial Order, even if it's at one, it's still a pretty good card. People are still going to play it. Um, so with Maxi, uh, like I'm just going in circles, but I like. Again, like broken cards are still good at one, you know, rather one than nothing. You know, if Maxi got banned, like I'm pretty sure people would have been way more pissed than it getting limited. Some people are, are claiming that they're not going to play it anymore. Like it's, it's more of like a one off card. It's not really reliable. So, you know, you, you don't really want to have it in your deck because you don't think you don't really have the confidence in it to really play the card because you're like okay i'm not going to see it that often so should i even play it should i just put something else should i put another searcher should i put something else that can like run with my deck that can synergize with my deck better rather than a max c now those are understandable concerns but um i i think nothing can replace the usefulness of max c like nothing can really get you as much advantage in one card and that's something you have to consider. It's like, okay, if my opponent goes off, do I have anything where I or I feel safe with, you know, like uh with Vanity's gone and Vanity's is another card where at one everybody still ran it. It's it's still something that you can still play and not really worry about, okay, um I kinda need this, but you know, because half the time you didn't really need it, it was more just um, a backup plan in case your opponent can still make plays after you make plays. So it's like, okay, activate Vandies, and then your opponent is like just forced to stop unless they have some type of destruction, which, you know, usually they do. And Vanities did also, you know, have this like weird condition. So it, it, it was kind of like one of those cards that, where you could uh, kind of decide when you wanted to kill it. Uh, because you just mill something or send something to the grave and all of a sudden if Andy's is gone and you know it's like you have a clear field now but um yeah it's uh it, it's still worth playing uh maxi at one um so you know i i guess it's uh wait I mean, I, I guess uh, Vanities was still one of those cards where at one it was still playable, and uh, it's it's kind of the same thing as Maxi because it was like 
uh, it, it was kind of like there's nothing else that could replace vanities like in, like in its immediate um, usefulness because vanities just stopped everything like for free like and like there was nothing else to replace that so people still ran it at one and they didn't have to worry about it clogging because a they only had one copy and B um, they could run their deck based around something else and just play at one vanities and be like, okay, I'm cool with this. <sighs> so in the case of rogue decks, I think rogue decks aren't gonna like Maxi going to one. Uh, they're probably still gonna play it um, because they kind of have to. In the case of meta decks, uh, a few of them didn't play Maxi anyway. And I don't think it'll hurt to have Maxi in the main deck still, even at one. Um, but if you wanna, make sure that your deck is as consistent as possible or focus on a certain play or play style, then I wouldn't blame you for taking out your maxi because that's something that um, it's kind of player preference or it's kind of deck preference. Like some decks need it. Some decks can play without it. Um, and since it's at one now, um, you, you won't have to worry about running into maxi as often anymore. So it's, I, I think it's good on both sides, honestly, but um, it is still something that I don't think should have happened. I don't think they should have brought it down to one, although I understand why they did. This format, I don't think so. Because once Link format comes up, um, like Maxi is, gonna, is either gonna be, it's, like, it's either gonna spike or it's gonna become absolutely useless because a lot of decks are just, either gonna stop focusing on special summoning or it's just a lot of decks you're gonna have to special summon so much that you're gonna get so much advantage off of maxi that they might even have to ban it like like <clears throat> look at the jeff jones firewall dragon combo look how many special summons that takes like look at zoos look at how many special summons zoo takes it's like you can net so much advantage just for one card and it's like i i really really believe that it's still worth running at one. Um, still, it's player preference. So this was Nistro here, just make another video for you guys. Nistro out. Peace.